Hello all you wonderful witch and wizarding wonders, I hope you are well and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have another shopping haul from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in Leavesden uh, and yes, yes I did spend some more money. Was it a lot? Yeah it was a lot, it was a lot of money. <laughs> But first of all, I'd like to say welcome back to all my subscribers and if you are new here and you like my content then click that subscription button and press the notification bell and uh, join me on my magical mischief making. Right, let's get straight to it shall we? So I decided to get one of the beautiful uh, long life bags, <laughs> I forgot what they were called then, long life bags from the tour and i saw another uh, youtuber recently get this and when i went into the shop i didn't see them anywhere so i was like let me ask the really nice lady that served me if she had any of these out back and luckily she knew th of three of them so if you want one and you don't see them i recommend you ask someone who works there because nine times out of ten they'll just be out the back so if you do want to get one of these just ask if you don't see them. So it's U ball themed as you can see, it's very nice. And it says on the bottom, see Professor McGonagall for more details. And yeah, it's really cute. And it's got a little pocket. I don't want to show anything, but it's got a little pocket inside just there. So yeah, it's really handy. And I'll, I'll be using this for many other shopping trips that I will inevitably do so let's start so as you may know i always end up getting a wand when i go i can't help it i just have to get one of the really nice ones and i'm trying to slowly collect the uh, collector's editions so i went for the sword of gryffindor and this is again is another stunning wand that they have released so you get the little card inside which oh, I just like these, I love these. I might like display these somewhere, but I don't know where, but they're so, I love them. They're so sweet. And then inside, oh, it's just, again, they, these are just incredible. So as you can see, it's all got all the detail like it does on the sword hilt. And it was also got the ruby that's on top and it's got little Gryffindor lions around the bottom and yeah again these ones are just simply stunning and they're worth the money because just just look at it it's so pretty I can't wait to get them all I will eventually get them all <laughs> next uh when I went last time well start again when I went the first time again this year I saw these and I thought oh, I'll get it next time went on Halloween none of them were there. I didn't see them anywhere so I was like oh they must have sold out or they've discontinued these because again there's always rumors going around that this continuing some of their items and then when I went back for Christmas they were there so I was like yes I'm gonna grab that so it is the Weasley's extendable ear and me and my friend tried this and they work um, they're really clever actually and I just I love the uh, Weasley Wizard Weezes um, merchandise I actually don't own that much but I, I again I just want to start slowly collecting things like this and um, it was only £15 so they had a Christmas Hello. so they had a Christmas shop and they did some really nice Christmas ornaments so I had to get some for myself uh, I think they're all scattered about in these bags but oh Harry Potter so long it's been with a little dobby <laughs> so I got oh no they're all in here so I think you've probably seen these before but I really wanted to get the U ball outfits and I love Hermione's dress for the U ball. I kind of wish they did blue like they, it is in the book, but the pink dress is just so iconic. So I had to get the little Hermione 
your ball dress. And then I picked up uh, Ron as well. So his uh, great aunt Tessie's robes. <laughs> I just think these are so adorable. They are so cute. And I kind of wish I got Harry's. I didn't get Harry's in the end. I don't know why I didn't get it. So I kind of regret not picking Harry's up, but I got Ron and I got Hermione's. And then I got a little ornament, which I thought this is really, really pretty. So it is a little Yule ball. And this is the um, ice sculpture that they have in the tour and what's obviously on the table and the great hall at the Yule ball. And yeah, it's Yule ball down there. And it's very pretty. But yeah, um, there were so many other ornaments that I could have bought, but I kind of only really specifically wanted to get the Yuval um, outfits. So I think next year I will get Harry's. So I've also been slowly collecting the exercise books from Mina Lima. And I finally got the last one, which is the, I don't know if it's the first print or the second print of Hogwarts A History. Um, and yeah, I just love these so much. Um, like I said before, we owe Mina Lima so much with all their merchandise that they have done for the Harry Potter series. So finally got the last one and I'm very happy that I did. I love these things. These are the most cutest things ever. Oh, and... I just love pygmy puffs they are amazing and they usually do um purple ones i wanted to get a purple one but they only have the pink so i ended up taking this little guy home and they also have big huge massive squishy ones which i was going to get but i thought i don't have that much room in here but now thinking about it he could have gone on the sofa so don't be surprised when i do a next Shoot, it's all. I come with a 10 times bigger one of these, so. <laughs> and the last few little items. I said to myself, Suzanne, don't go start collecting pins because you will get obsessed and you'll end up with too many pins. Um, I already broke that promise to myself, so I ended up getting some more pins. But these ones are really nice. So I got the stained glass mermaid window that's in the prefect's bathroom in the Goblet of Fire. And I don't think I've seen this one before, so I think it might be a new one. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I haven't seen these before. So I thought it's a really nice detailed pin. So I grabbed it. And I also grabbed this Quibbler one. And I love the Quibbler. Luna is my favourite character. She is just brilliant. And... Um, so I love anything Luna, I love anything Quibbler. So, and then you can open the little glasses out as well, which I think is a really nice and clever touch. So it's the Quibbler from the uh, Half-Blood Prince that she hands out. And the last one I got is just a uh, Ravenclaw Quidditch pin badge. Uh, I'm trying to get some Ravenclaw robes uh quidditch robes and i know they're about but i don't know where you can get them from so if anyone knows please let me know please leave me a comment because i'd really love to get the ravenclaw robes i've only ever seen the slytherin and the gryffindor robes so i'd like to invest in getting some of the quidditch robes because when i get some of the quidditch robes it means i need to go and get a um broomstick <laughs> so it's all just an excuse to buy some more stuff at the end of the day, isn't it? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> so 
so thank you for joining and again if you enjoyed my video please click that subscribe button bleh. right so thank you for joining and if you liked the video and you'd like to subscribe then just click that button and hit that notification bell and i hope to see you very soon if i don't see you before christmas i hope you all have a wonderful christmas and stay safe i know at the moment it's a bit mental with covid going on again so please stay safe please have a good christmas and i'll see you soon cheers guys